Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. We're out on the um, the all new for 2023, the Honda Hornet 750. And this is an all new revised machine. This one has been long requested uh, by quite a few of quite a few of you. And um, yeah, I'm quite happy to jump on this today. Weather's not too bad. Sun's out at least anyway. In the yeah, a little bit windy, but at least it's dry. First thing I noticed on this bike uh, from the the previous model is well for a start this this dash here is very very crisp we're actually in standard mode at the moment um we'll have a little look through some of those rider modes in a minute but first impressions i've like, literally just jumped on the bike so i'm going to gel with the bike a little bit just adjust that mirror a tad visibility visibility through those mirrors is uh pretty good to be fair keep it rolling but yeah, we we'll just warm the bike up and uh, just try and get used to the, the actual riding position. This bike has got the Sport Pack as well. So this has got the um, the screen on the front there, I think. It's got one or two other things like the quick shifter and auto blipper. So we'll try that out in a little while once we, uh, we get rolling and the revs are up a little bit higher. It's also got the SC Project exhaust on here as well. So we'll have a little listen to that. And I will pull over in the usual way and we'll see, uh, you know, I'll run through all of the specs and I'll give you a full 360 of the bike, but I love this colour as well, it's got a lovely metallic finish on this. It comes in four different colours this bike as well. And um, what first thing what amazes me, I've just asked actually, that, that you know, regarding the price of this bike and I had to ask twi uh, kind of twice really, the, this is coming in at 6999 which really, to be fair, you know, for a bike with all of this, I mean obviously this has got the, the sports pack so you, I'm not too sure you know how much extra that would be. I think there's a tour pack as well you can you can have but so um very easy to adjust the rider modes on here. Just a mode button there, switch gear, very similar to uh, actually the CB CB1000 I think. Um, but yeah visibility through the mirrors is good, not too vibey, no vibes through the foot pegs. I mean I'm only doing 40 mile an hour at the moment but yeah actually quite nice it's actually you can actually tuck your knees yeah your legs underneath the the tank there or indicators we'll take a left here and we'll wind her open a little bit see how she performs i'm not using the uh the quick shifter at the moment but i will do cool oh she's got a lot of torque there we're only in standard mode there as well actually um, use a sport we're going to sport mode there we are I'm not going to go too crazy like so I want to warm the bike up but she's got this is the uh, the parallel swim with a 270 degree crank this one so uh, you get that lovely sound from the engine Obviously being a naked bike, I mean it has got the screen on the front there, but being a naked bike, it's not actually too bad really, it's not uncomfortable. When I'm sitting here doing what, indicated 60, 66, 67 mile an hour there, and it's not uncomfortable at all. Sorry if I'm shouting, but it is very breezy. Um, she does ride lovely, nice and uh, comfortable anyway. And my feet were in a nice posi position on the pegs there as well. We'll take a right here. Yeah, impressed so far. Like I say, that, that L, uh, TFT screen there is very crisp. Very nice. Go down here and some of these other little ro smaller roads and... Uh, oh, she's got some punch. Definitely got some punch. <laughs> But yeah, I think uh, this display is very customizable as well, so you can um, you can change the you know the looks of that. But I like the look of that. Uh, you know what's on there at the moment. You've got the the rev counter going across there. Obviously your speed, the time, the outside temperature. Lots of information there. Um, obviously the speedo in the middle there, nice and large. Right, we'll try the quick shifter. Very, very smooth that. Blipper. Nice system that on here. 
very nice system. But I say that is that isn't standard on here, so you would have to opt in for that. But I mean, generally at lower speeds, I I, I generally use the clutch uh, normally, but it's always nice to have the quick shifter and the blipper. So um, yeah, very nice. Bars are in a nice position as well. Really nice position, and. Um, I'm in a very good place on here. This has actually got the oh hammer there. I don't think I'm only uh, doing 30 anyway. But yeah, they uh, got the crash bungs on here as well. I'm pretty sure they come with the actual sport pack as well. Uh, don't quote me on that though. But very nice. She's very very flickable as well. Um, very nice. Like I say, we will pull over in a little while and we'll have a we'll do a full walk round of the bike. It's got the shower. Uh, separate function forks, so the big piston forks here on the front. Um, separate function meaning one does compression, one does the rebound. And uh, we'll test the brakes, there's nothing about, nothing behind. Wind her up a little bit on the Nationals. Oh, yes, there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with those. I think these may be the uh, Takiko brakes, we'll, uh, I'll, um, we'll go through all that when we walk, I'll do the walk around of the bike. Do the rear one on its own. Actually, the rear one's pretty good, considering. I mean, motorcycle brakes on the rear are not generally always the best, but seems okay. Seems okay. That quick shit, uh, that blipper works a tree. And that, I'll tell you, that, oh, that exhaust has got a bit of a bit of a rumble to it as well. Lovely, absolutely lovely. I mean, for the price as well, six thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. You know, I'm kind of thinking you're getting a lot of bike for the money. I mean, you'd think with its competitors, this, um, you know, this is a lot cheaper. I think the Trident is quite a few, quite a few pounds more. Really nimble machine, really nimble. And um, yeah, you always get the good finish as well. The good fit and finish with Honda, Honda bikes. What's the horn like? Nothing about. Yeah, standard. Yeah, she, when you give her the bean, she sounds lovely. She sounds absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. It's got the diamond steel frame on here as well. Like I say, this, this really, to be fair, oh, let some air in, this really, to be fair, is not the sort of bike that I would personally, you know, I wasn't, put it this way, I wasn't that excited about coming and jumping on this, but now I'm on it, um, I'm in a very good place on here, and it's very easy to ride effortless to ride this oh excuse me so, um, yeah it's not it's not it's not no but no uh, effort at all to ride this keep it rolling we'll pull over just stop here and I'll run through all the specs like I normally do and um, we'll give you a full 360 of the bike very impressed so far very very impressed I think you would have to you know if you wanted you know, wanted it to be a little bit more sporty or whatever, then yeah, go for the sport pack. With you know, if you if you're into all that. But this would make, I would say, this would make an all-round good commuter bike. And uh, afternoon, no nod from the biker. <laughs> this would make an all all good, all good, all-round good commuter. I would say, perfect commuter bike. And I think it would be good to go around the twisties with your mates for the weekends as well. It's just a little bit chilly today, but no heated grips on here. No heated grips. I don't know if the tour pack would come with heated grips. But um, that's nice to be out today anyway, in, uh, in, in this fine sun. I don't know how long it's going to be out for though, however. But yeah, I do like this colour. And we'll run through the other colours in a little while when I pull over. But... This has got a lovely spark of metallic finish to the paint. Really nice, really nice. Uh, so this is all new and improved, this model, 2023 model. Um, how many miles has this done? It's done nearly a thousand mile, which is ideal really. I don't want to jump on. I don't want to jump on a bike whilst sort of brand new or done a couple of miles because you can't really open them up at all and yeah. See? reasonably comfortable seems to be 
I don't know what it'd be like on a longer a longer run but at the moment I'm you know I've not really got too many grumbles with it what a lovely village you know coming through the village of Wroxham here in Norfolk the lovely weather today a few, quite a few people out and about we'll stop here and we'll see what we're like with the feet down neutral very easy to find neutral oh yeah my feet are flat on the deck completely very comfortable they are I'm five foot seven by the way uh, with an inside leg of a not too sure to be fair hello 30 inches I think something like that but really really I mean I don't know if you can see there but my feet are absolutely flat on the deck and you can't feel any weight of the bike the bike the, bike, the weight of the bike is pretty sure it's 190 kilos that's the curb weight so that's the wet weight of the bike and they've obviously done work their won wonders wonders yeah work their wonders and all the weight is low down so just through this traffic here nice and slow speeds don't feel any weight the clutch is nice and light as well very impressed so far very impressed like I say it's not not the sort of bike that I'd usually be jumping up up and down about you know going out and riding but my tune has changed a little bit with this because keep rolling yeah so no issues with the slow speed take a right down here all this slow speed stuff is you know it's in its element really and it had no no issues either when I was sort of ringing it on a little bit along the the dual carriageway so uh, let's go slow through here but I th I, like I said I think it'd be a good it's, it's a good all-round machine and you'd have a lot of fun with this as well we've got some windy roads coming up here so uh, yeah stay tuned and we'll open them up a little bit if you're new to the channel thanks for joining me today and uh, it'd be great to have you along hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell like I say it'd be great to have you along plenty of bike reviews coming and uh, I don't just do bike reviews but I'll do you know ride outs and other things and yeah suspension's rather nice and rather you know I'm in, I'm in a nice place with the suspension as well I mean what am I I'm 13 about 12 and a half 13 stone depending on what sort of month I'm having <laughs> uh, but nice very nice soaking up the bumps along here it's fairly bumpy along here but absolutely absolutely loving it absolutely loving it nothing behind I'll try the brakes again to the front on their own yeah very progressive and uh, can't really hear too much of that exhaust they've obviously got that right and uh, I think the standard exhaust has got two all this dust brown across the road here you'll see a tractor on the field or something but whew. yeah the, the standard exhaust has got I think two ports in there so when the revs are lower you know, uh, changes to the obviously when the revs are a lot higher up, but I'm not sure how this one works. The SC project, but what was that? Uh, we'll pull over just up here and I'll give you a thorough walk around of this lovely, lovely machine. Yeah, so you've got the, the, the usual sort of joystick situation there or situation set up there, and uh, you can run through change all your rider modes. Probably do a video all in itself on that one. What was that? Um, so I'm not going to run through all of that um, on the right hand side there you've got your start button and your kill switch span adjustable um, brake lever there as well so yeah very impressed oh dear snibbling away there <laughs> well, let's pull in here out of the way let some air in sounds lovely sounds wonderful pull over right the way up here and then uh, just in here neutral is no problem at all there what's the side stand like yeah very easy we'll jump off and give her a little tickle on the throttle turn the indicator off it's got those running lights on there on the indicators which I quite like as well all right there's the SC project exhaust yeah very nice very nice nice little carbon uh, cover on there as well 
but there she is, the Honda 750 Hornet. So, uh, yeah, I'll turn her off and um, we'll run through the full specs of the machine. All right, well, here she is, the Honda 2023 CB750 Hornet. So you've got the all-new engine, the 755cc, liquid-cooled, uh, overhead cam, four-stroke, eight-valve parallel twin. And this one, uh, yeah, this one's got the 270-degree crank and the unicam. So, uh, yeah, ma maximum output of the, of the, of the bike is 67.6 .6 kilowatt at 9,500 RPM, and maximum torque is 74.4 newton meters at 7,000 RPM. And uh, yeah, the, that's, that's, that's something I did notice was the torque of the bike when I wound the power on. And uh, yeah, it's got plenty of grunt. Uh, the gearbox is uh, a six-speed manual with the optional extra quick shifter and the blipper available. And this one's got it on there, all tucked away. In, well, not tucked away, but all connected up there. And that was silky smooth, that. No, uh, no problems with that at all. Suspension and, and brakes. So uh, yeah, we've got the two-channel two ABS. Um, on the front here with the dual 296 millimeter with the four pot Nissan calipers and uh, yeah there was no problems with the brakes there at all they were very very good so uh, can't can't grumble about those at all the rear brakes is a single 240 millimeter disc with the single pot uh, Nissan caliber again there you see the ABS ring tucked away there so uh, no issues there. Front suspension, like I said, is the Showa. Uh, this is the 41 millimeter um, suspension on here, which is a, the separate function. Big piston, um, upside down forks with 130 millimeters of travel. The rear is um, the monoshock damper tucked away in there. You could do with some sort of hugger in there to keep all that, all that mud. You can see all that dirt in there. So uh, that'd be an idea really. Uh, it's got the Pro-Link Pro swing arm with 150 millimeters of travel and I would say it's adjustable with for uh, preload by the looks of it. Very difficult to see actually in there. So um, wheels and tyres, yeah, the five spoke cast alloy, 17 inch um, with a 120 tyre on the front and the 160 tyre on the rear. So uh, very nice. There are the Dunlops on here, on this one. Uh, the frame, like I said, is a steel diamond type frame and the curb weighs 190 kilos. So not too bad really, like I said, the, all the weight really was, I think it's down below, um, so you don't feel any of that. The C height, very good, 795 millimetre and yeah, I can touch the, obviously touch down on that, no issues, me being, being a shorty anyway. Uh, fuel tank, 15.2 litres with a claimed 23 kilometres per litre. So the instruments... Fully adjustable TFT, nice little Hornet um, emblem comes up on there, logo comes up on there when you turn it on. So it's a TFT, five inch color with three rider mode, sport, standard and rain. You can adjust that through here on the mode, standard rain. You just lay the throttle off when you want to change on the fly. It's got the user customized, customizable one there as well. So it changes all of your, you can change all of this, engine braking, torque and the power. Um, I'll leave it on sport for now. So uh, yeah, that's very, very, very nice, very customizable. Lots of information on there. Everything you need really and more to be honest. So the lighting is full LED all round and uh, also has self canceling indicators. Looks quite nice really. I quite like the, the, new, the screen on there as well. Obviously that comes with the sport pack, I think this, and these indicators, uh, well, they're standard, but I like the daytime running lights on there as well. So uh, self-cancelling indicators. Comes in a choice of four colours. Um, pearl glare white, matte goldfinch yellow. Well, the, 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 the pearl glare white is this one, which I quite like. Uh, it's got the matte iridium grey metallic and the graphite black. And yeah, the best thing about this bike is all it's all priced at 6999 Now, I'm not quite sure on how long it's going to stay at that price. Um, I don't know. You'd like to think it would for a while, but... Yeah, very nice. Lovely uh, attention to detail with the finishing, the fit, the finish, everything. Nice and solid there. It's got different foot pegs on here as well, I believe, for the, uh, you know, with the sport pack. And um, yeah, very, like I say, various packs are, are, are available, sport, luggage, you know, with all the extras. But first impressions are, they are very, very solid, very nice, very, very, uh, you know, very, very fun bike to ride. Very easy bike to ride as well. So, uh, very nice, very nice indeed, that. Very nice indeed. But yeah, you could do with a hugger, like I said, in there to uh, eliminate some of that 
that shite being splattered up the the um, you know the shock in there. So right, okay, we'll jump on and ride some more. Feet on the pegs, nice and easy. Full lock there, full lock. Like I say, you do not feel any of that weight. It's very very easy bike to ride, and uh, I'm pretty sure that this is. Can be made A2 compliant as well. I'll put it up on the screen if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it can be. But that parallel twin does sound. Uh, close that down. That parallel parallel twin does sound really nice, really nice. All I can suggest is really get yourself out test ride one. See what you think. Let me know in the comments. You know, have you bought one? Have you had any trouble with one? If you have. I'd be interested to know what are your thoughts, you know. Um, but my first impressions are it's a great fun bike to ride. I know I keep saying that, but I know I keep saying it. Uh, very few bikes I, I sort of jump on. I think, oh yeah, um, you know, this this is a world will will real world review. This it's not. We're not in the south of France. We're not in Spain. We're in the UK here, which is really where this bike is, you know, really going to be, be rode, isn't it? Let's be honest. So, I mean, um, you know, on these bumpy roads we have here and, uh, oh yeah, well, I am impressed. Well, I am impressed. Coming into the village of Horn in here, lovely village this one by the Broads. Um, some lovely properties around here. Very nice. Well, I really do appreciate you joining me today and I uh, hope you've enjoyed the review of the bike. Like I say, all I'd suggest is, you know, don't don't take my word for it. Don't just take my word for it. Go out, test ride one yourself and, uh, you know, let me know in the comments what you think. But yeah, I really do appreciate you joining me and take care. See you soon. Hopefully I'll see you on the next video. See ya.